Alright guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to handle user events, but before we get to that I need to tell you a quick story because it is kind of embarrassing and I just feel like I need to tell someone. So I was just doing laundry a few seconds ago and whenever I do my laundry I take it and I dump it out on my bed just because, I don't know, it's like the right height so I don't have to like crouch over or anything. So I take all my clean laundry and I dumped it on my bed and then I took the empty laundry basket and I just put it on my head like I'm wearing some weird helmet or I don't know. Why I did that, no idea. I just do weird things when I'm alone. So I just have this laundry basket on my head and I'm looking out the front window. And then I look out my side window and my neighbor who was shoveling her porch, she stopped shoveling and, <laughs> and then we were just like looking at each other for a second and I have a laundry basket on my head. So yeah, that was pretty awkward and uh, she probably thinks I'm really weird now if she didn't already, but that was pretty uh, embarrassing. Anyways, I'm just going to pretend that that never happened. Let's go ahead and continue with the tutorial. So again, what I want to teach you guys how to do is handle user events. In other words, whenever they click this button, we want to perform some kind of um, action so the program is actually interactive and it's just not a bunch of buttons that they can look at and not you know interact with it all so anytime that we want to actually handle these events we need to implement an interface called event handler now for event handler there are a bunch of different types of events for example there's a button click and there are mouse events like whenever moves or whenever the user moves their mouse around. There's also touch events for touch devices whenever they touch a screen, but of a simple button click is just an action event. So that's the kind we're gonna be talking about in this tutorial. So again, I'm gonna show you guys the method um, just a second, but for right now, actually, let me show you the method right now. Now, underneath start, if you hit Alt Insert, and then choose implement methods there's one method that we need to implement and it's called handle so just go ahead and click that now handle of course is the method that's going to be called whenever the user clicks the button so again whenever they click the button that is called an event they did something how do you want to handle it well you write your code right here do you want to print out a line of text do you want to open up uh, another window what do you want to do so that's essentially how this program is going to work now before we just jump into handling it, we need to set one other method on your button. So on button, you need to call set on action. And we're just gonna pass in this, and all this says is whenever they click this button, the code to handle this is in this class. So you can actually make a whole nother class and just um, pretty much just for like handling events, but since this is a real quick tutorial, I'm just going to throw my method in the same class. So this is essentially all this is saying. Whenever you are trying to handle the button click, just look in this class for the handle method and you'll find it. Simple enough. So now, of course, we know whenever they click the button, this method gets called. So inside this method, what we can do is this. Now remember, this is a generic method and it's get and it gets called whenever an event occurs. But say that we had 10 different buttons. Well, if we just write, okay, print out a line of text, we don't want every single button click to do the same exact thing. So it's always useful to find the source, and that way it identifies pretty much the source or which button or which object caused this code to occur. So that way if you have 10 different buttons it can identify the different buttons that's all it does so we're just gonna check okay if the source of this event was equal to this button which is the only button that we have on the screen then what do you want to do well we can just put system out print line and what are we gonna print whenever they click the button just put ooh, I love it when you touch me there all right looking good so looking sweet so again one more time what's gonna happen if I run this you guys are going to see 
and again I'm gonna click it and it's just gonna print it out right here usually you don't really want to mix GUI applications with console you know little text messages because I don't know that's the whole point of GUI applications so you don't have to run this crap right here but for demonstrating it'll be fine so again one last time anytime you wanna handle user events you need to implement this interface and then whenever an event happens such as a button click this method gets called and the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna say okay what caused this method to be called what was the source oh it was this button so they must have clicked it and whenever they clicked it which is just the action event I'm gonna print out this line of code and if we have another button then we can just put an else if or if the source of that equals button 2 then we'll just say like uh, you clicked button 2 and it's giving us error because we don't actually have a button 2 but that's how you would handle different buttons so uh, yeah I'm probably just gonna think about how awkward I am and putting laundry baskets on my head and uh, yeah thank you guys for watching again my, my source code is gonna be on github link below anyways I'll see you later